evening, and welcome back to more Odalus here on Game Hiker. The story of a man named Haggis Odalus. <laughs> Haggis Odalus. Yes. We were uh, just making fun of the menu for how we have to use a menu to access the ability to select a stage, which is absurd. Okay. And then press up to go to location, because, you know, that, that just makes sense. Right. I mean, everything's more fun when it's a menu rather than a direct application of the thing you want to do. But to be fair, I think it's meant to be sort of obtuse, because that's the way NES games work. That's true. I, sh I really should have had to open the manual to figure out how to do these things. <laughs> and then, like, when you get, like, lost in the game, it's like, please look in your manual. <laughs> That would be amazing if this game had call outs to, to the manual. Man, these frost giants really need to cool it with snowballs. No kidding. Some of the great things about some of the older games, um, like P not just NES games, but like PC games too, was when they would use a manual as a form of DRM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember there were a lot of adventure games that would like to do that, where there'd be like a solution to puzzles in the manual. Yeah. Even Star Tropics said it, so not even Nintendo was immune from that. Wow. There's not the jokes on us. We can just go into window mode and pop open the PDF. Yeah, jokes it, it on was them, even rather. it was especially great in uh, Star Tropics because they made it so you couldn't even like go stick it in a copier and you know after you, you know send it to your friend you know give them a copy of a piece of paper because you had to take the part of the manual and dip it in water to make the secret message. So <laughs> that is that is a new kind of evil. Well, I mean, couldn't you? Dip well, it's it more of an old kind of evil, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is this thing? I don't know, that's like, like a warp thing. Yeah. Strange runes. Well, we did find some runes a while ago. So, so hang on, couldn't you just dip it in water and then make the copy? Yeah, if you wanted to your copier machine to sort out. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it was far cool. enough in the game that, you know, if you're just making a copy without thinking, you right. might not know that you need to have that there. I mean, first of all, you do it to work. You know, use your own copier. Yeah. Right. I agree. That's that's way too much risk. Yeah. They got around it by, uh, like, in the the virtual console release. So, like, when you go into the oh, cons the, the um, instruction manual that you can access to the virtual console, uh, there's like one page where you have like a little button you can press, and it says dip it in water, and you do that, and then a message shows up. So you still get to have the. Uh, the illusion of dipping in water. So, so they not having to uh, go to game packs to figure out what to do. They, they they put a dip in water simulator in the electronic manual. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Wow. And it doesn't even sort out the weight. So I mean, it's it's amazing. <laughs> that would be horrible if you <laughs> read that wrong and dipped your Wii in water. <laughs> yeah. Right. Did to call up Nintendo? I was like, yeah. So uh, I dipped my Wii in water so I could beat Star Tropics. <laughs> And the guy on the line is talking to you. Is like, what the hell is Star Tropics? <laughs> uh, negligent Nintendo support, my favorite kind. Okay, that was that was a dick move with Alice. Seriously, blind jump into spikes. Well, I should probably just let one of these guys kill me. Yeah, you get stopped at a checkpoint, so everything you got is still with you. Yeah, and I'm going in circles. Well, you can get in spikes if you want to die. You could. I was trying to think if there's any hope of comeback. No, we'll, we'll be seeing this again, I'm sure. That was not a checkpoint, apparently. Oh, damn! Looked like a checkpoint. Yeah. Whatever, that was all a big dead end. Screw that part of the game. That part of the game had no business being part of the game. And blind jump. Ooh, I bet that chest is something awesome. I bet it's going to be more coins. <laughs> we'll find out. But I mean, look at it. It's a blue chest. Ah, uh, blue coins. With blue coins. <laughs> All that work to get the blue coin chest. Some torches. I wonder. Nope. What do you think this is? Some fancy new game where you can melt things and set things on fire. Hey, they uh, they pulled it off in Mario 3. That's true. 
that was like one of the coolest things I loved about being in the uh, ice world was getting a fire flower, which, you know, at that point in the game, like, you're sort of like, okay, fire flowers are useful, but I would rather have like almost any other power up, except maybe the frog suit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hammers, hammers were the bomb. Yeah. But then you get to the ice level, and you're like, whoa, these fire flowers are the bomb. And of course, they kind of stop dropping them. Okay, I really should have. Uh... Alright, let's try this again. I feel like I would have just. Wait. Oh, do I need to. Alright, things are getting tricky. Huh. Oh, look at that! That is some game logic right there. Never let a good stalactite go to waste. Seriously. You know, it's interesting they're doing this because I don't think that's always something you can really pull off with the old Castlevania just because. Well, not just got like, like limitations of the hardware, but I mean, like. The idea that they want you to have these items to use for yeah. stage manipulation and not just for weapons. Right, right. Actually having a, uh, a stockpile of items was not a thing. Uh -oh. See, now I'm hesitant to use up all my spears, although I did get a checkpoint. I'll get down there. Hmm. It's a mystery. Maybe this way. No. Sorry, I guess you need to put a little bit more weight than that before you can do that kind of stuff. No, I can spear a stalactite out of the air, but... <laughs> Man, this is the most mazy level so far. Yeah, no kidding. Aha! have the power of the block. I wonder if I want the block to go down there. I would move it the other way first. Oh, yeah. It's like... Oh, go ahead. I'll... I was I'll thinking the block the would first. smash. Yeah. I Almost. think it will, but I, th I think you want to use it the other way because like a... it stops at a certain point so you can't push it against the wall because that's a little thing right there. Mm -hmm. So I think you want to see what's up there first. I agree. Good, good call. Okay, so this was the same kind of statue as before. Yeah, the one that tricks you into thinking it's a checkpoint. Right. Not a checkpoint. Probably important, nonetheless. Especially considering there was one that added dead end. And Kasmash. Yeah. Nice. It's a good thing Haggis can breathe underwater. I know, I'd be drowned badly in the other, in the other way. And that felt like a secret door. Oh man, oh, boots! You gotta get boots. those boots. Wing boots. Yeah, so it looks like you need like a block to come down here somewhere. There we go. Uh -huh. just, have to, uh, just have to get a secret ceiling block. Yeah, everyone knows about secret ceiling blocks. That's where I keep my blocks. Yeah, right next to my ceiling cat. <laughs> ceiling cat is watching you block. Double jump. Sweet. That is a big deal. And and notice how to get the double jump, I had to have the underwater breathing apparatus. Right. I mean, isn't that the way it works in all games? You have to be able to breathe underwater before you can double jump? That is generally the case. He even gets that little sort of like a la carte uh, background thing to him when he double jumps. Yeah, a little shadow. Yeah, you're right, that's taken straight out of the night. And quite a few. See, I didn't even need that block. You were like, oh, I don't know if you can make that jump. Look at that. Well, see, they made it so, like, if, um... Yeah, if you did it in the wrong If you order. messed up, you could still go back and do it, yeah. So, it's gonna be Backtrack City, because I can think of a few places where I wanted to double jump in. Yeah, no kidding. And then you'll find more places where you're like, man, there's still, I can't, still can't get there. Why can't <laughs> yeah. I get there? Right, no shortage of that. And maybe someday I'll finally get a sword upgrade. Yeah. So I must have to wake up all these statues. Let's say you're only missing one. Yeah. There's gotta be some significance to this thing. Well, probably until you activate it, it won't do anything. Right. Uh, let's blow some money. I've got a ton of it. Yeah, I know. You're uh, so crazy about not using anything, so... Yeah. 
Now I am rich. Beyond our wildest imaginings. And then in the late game, I'll be looking at looking at my wallet and being like, 1,000 for an extra life. Why? I only have 8,000. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I can I can double chump like a champ up that way. Holy moly! That's still not good enough. Nope. Because you actually have to solve things and find things and activate things what they want you to. Mm -hmm. All the way to the beginning. Was there anything back in the beginning that we needed to do a double jump to? I don't know. It's looking like that's a no. I can accidentally Shame. leave the stage. Alright, well, that probably feels like a good place to end the episode. <laughs> sure. We'll go double jump into some older stages and get back to that one later when it will feel fresh again. Alright, that's an idea. Good night. Good night.